Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tyler Gibson Superstar Mode. I want to start this episode off by asking you guys a question. What exactly would you like to see going forward? I don't think it's crazy to say that this series is getting a little bit stale. And there's a number of other things I could do as a second series to run alongside the Broncos franchise. We could do a new Superstar Mode at a different position. We could do a series of one-off rebuilds where I sort of do simulation style rebuilds. I could do NCAA. I could do other games outside of football i could you know i could try 2k what do you guys want to see exactly that's what i'm curious about i'm gonna keep going with tyler i think i want to win a super bowl before i call it quits on the series so but anyway let's not waste any more time i'm gonna get into the episode we do have two skill points i'm gonna go ahead and spend those i'm gonna go ahead and up the deep throw accuracy to 87 so that means tyler now has 90 throw power 90 short throw accuracy 87 medium and 87 deep accuracy so i'll get through these activities and and we'll get on to game day. If you recall from the last couple episodes, we're trying to chase down the Titans and the Ravens for the number one seed in the AFC. They are both 11 and one. So we're gonna have to win out and hope each of them lose. I wanna say we beat the Titans for their only loss this season. So if they lose, we have the tiebreaker. We may need some help potentially to get the tiebreaker against the Ravens. So if we take a look at the playoff picture, currently we would be the three seed and we would face off against the New England Patriots in the wild card round of the playoffs. But anyway, let's get into game day against the Jags. We have plus three speed, plus three stamina, plus two throw on the run. We of course are 10 and two, a couple games ahead of the Chiefs. Back at Allegiant Stadium, it's been a while since I recorded this again. Uh, my priority has obviously just been on the Broncos franchise. Tyler leads the NFL in passing yards by like 800 yards or something, just completely dusting Patrick Mahomes. And I completely forgot Kirk Cousins is the quarterback now of the Jags. I don't know what happened to T-Law. So the Jags fail to score on their first possession, meaning it's Raider football. And we're going to hit Devontae Adams, who I believe was injured before today. I think this may be his first game back. On second and inches, I'll hand it off to Josh Jacobs. He's got the first down. First and 10 from the 33. It's so on the fresh set of downs. We're going to go play action. Gibson fake. And then looking down the field for Myers. He makes the grab. He holds on through contact. And it's a first down around midfield. So on first and 10 from the 47. To hand off to Jacobs. That was actually a read option. There's a flag down like immediately. I'm guessing holding. So on first and 20, after we get pushed back, Tyler rolling. I think I'm gonna take off here. Kind of got bumped a little bit by Jacoby Myers, but it's a pickup of 15 on the ground. Jacksonville challenges. What exactly are they challenging? The placement of the ball? What? They challenged and it got overturned. Did Tyler step out of bounds? Oh, he did. Yeah, 100% he did. Okay, well, you know, scratch the 15-yard run. Instead, it was only eight. And we're going to throw on second and 12, find Devontae Adams. It'll be third and four. From the 48, third and four, Tyler to throw. Has time, finds Jacoby Myers, it's complete. And that's a first down. It's been slow moving here on this drive as we'll hand it off to Jacobs who gets killed up the middle. Second and 13, Tyler rolling to his right, gets tripped. No, I wasn't really looking downfield, I'll be honest. I was just trying to run. So it's a safety blitz here on third and 19. Here comes that safety, tried to get it off quickly with Tyler. Didn't work fourth and 19, and I'm guessing from this range we'll punt it away. I'm not entirely sure how, but we have the ball back almost immediately from the Jacksonville 16. So inside the red zone uh, from our defense, I'm guessing. They must have picked off Cousins almost immediately. Second and six. Two minutes left to play here in the first quarter. It's a fake to Jacobs, and then I'll hit him on the run. He stays in bounds. He's got the first. Pushed out at the four. First and goal, Raiders. First and goal from the four. Tyler will look to throw. Gonna step up and I just didn't feel like anything was open enough. It'll be second and goal from the eight, a loss of four. Second and goal from the eight. Tyler looking to throw. Still just absolutely nobody got open. Third and goal, that's a pickup of one on the ground. That's something. From the seven, third and goal. Tyler to throw. I was trying to hit Jacoby Myers and it was way too early. I needed to wait a second longer. It's picked in the end zone. 
Oh my god, I'm I'm so rusty. <laughs> if I wait a second longer, he, Jacoby Myers is just right in the window that I needed, but instead I'm an idiot, so. Lucky for me, it just doesn't matter because Jacksonville couldn't score either. So on first and 10 from the 20, Tyler looking to pass. Going to try to hit Michael Mayer. He holds on, but doesn't gain much. So make it second and six. And that might be picked again. Oh my God, it was so close. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such an idiot, bro. I have to remember that Trayvon Wesco, whenever he's in the game, is just unbelievably slow. Third and six, rolling. Going to try to hit 2-2 two, two Atwell on the run out of reach. Fourth and six, we'll have to punt it away. Well, the Jags still didn't score. It's first and 10, six and a half minutes left to play in the half for the Raiders from the 20. We'll go to the ground because I don't remember how to play as Tyler Gibson. It's only two yards though for Jacobs. The running game only seems to work like sometimes in this series. As I look to pass with Tyler and Devontae Adams just wide open. And that's a first down for the Raiders. So from the 40, play action for Tyler. Going downfield, has his man, it's Jacoby Myers, he's got a big gain. And he's inside the Jacksonville 30, and it's first and 10. All right, well, since I record this series like once every other week right now, I'm unretiring tight end attack. So here we are, running tight end attack. But I'm actually going to dump it off to Jacobs, who holds on. It's going to be second and inches. From the 19, second and inches, I figure we could take a shot to the end zone. It's picked. Oh my god, I hate this video game so much. Uh, like, <laughs> Michael Mayer is just about to break wide open into the end zone. And what does he do? He bumps into somebody, as is always the case. And I was already pressing the button to throw. Two picks and no touchdowns on the day for Tyler Gibson. First and 10 from the 47. We still have time in this first half to try to get some points. It's a screen for Jacobs. And he fumbles the ball. We still have it, but he fumbled the ball. It's a booth review, probably, on whether or not he fumbled. Typically, that means he absolutely did not, which is clear as day that he didn't fumble. First and 10 from the 33. The clock is still moving despite the booth review. I don't know. That might be normal. I might just be dumb. I'm going to run here with Tyler. Michael Mayer, he did hit the block, actually. I should have trusted him. Second and three. 40 seconds left to play. I'm going to try to hit Devontae Adams across the middle of the field. He jukes out a defender. We'll call a timeout. 34 seconds left. First and goal, Raiders. So on first and goal from the eight. Looking to get into halftime with some points. It's Michael Mayer. Touchdown, Raiders. Oh, my goodness. That was a painful first half. But we get some points on the board to one of our touchdown leaders, Michael Mayer. And it's going to be 7-0 for the Raiders heading into halftime. So the Jags actually managed to get into field goal range and they got three on the board before the half. So one more play, I'm gonna just launch this for Devontae Adams. It's probably gonna be a touch under thrown. Oh my God, it's not under thrown and it's gonna be a touchdown for the Raiders. Just an absolute bomb to Devontae Adams connects for Tyler Gibson. He breaks a tackle and he's in to the end zone. I thought it would be underthrown because Tyler doesn't have the biggest arm. He has a decent arm, but not a huge arm. But it doesn't matter. It was perfect, actually. Hits Devontae Adams and a touchdown on the board in the final seconds of the first half. Well, what an insane way to end a half. How about that? First and 10 from the 25 for the Raiders in the second half now as Tyler's in the zone, finds Jacoby Myers. And he's not quite gone, but he has a huge pickup yet again. Here we go. We're getting back into the swing of things. Can't just completely leave Josh Jacobs out of it, though. So we will run it to the outside. And it just never works, man. Five rushes for six yards for Jacobs. It's ridiculous. I know I don't run a lot in this series, but it's because when I do, it nothing happens. Second and ten. Going to try to hit Devontae. Adams has it knocked out. Third and ten. From the 36, looking to convert. Devontae's just wide open because they sent a huge blitz. He's got the reception. He's got a first down. Down at the 20 in the red zone go the Raiders. From the 20, play action. We are looking to throw. And I'll try to dump it off to Devontae. He makes the grab. On the run, cross body for Tyler. Gets him to 300 yards on the day. So it's first and goal from the 6 after that completion. And I'm going to try to run the football. Hand off. Jacobs has a lane. Gets stuffed, though, at the one. It'll be second and goal. I feel like these goal line sets almost never work. But on second and goal 
from the one let jacobs try it and he stopped at the four we just absolutely cannot run the football ever it is insane third and goal from the four looking to throw gonna find tutu atwell he dropped a touchdown that is ridiculous tutu atwell come on man fourth and goal i'm guessing it'll be a field goal first and 10 from the 20 the jags unable to score so it's 17 to 3 for the raiders and i'm not crazy about this play the running play the read option play i forgot how much the camera hates you when you audible out of a run play into a pass play it just doesn't zoom out at all so you can't see anything on second and seven i'm gonna try a toss i don't expect it to work but we shall see to the outside michael mayer didn't hold his block long enough it's third and three from the 27 third and three play action tyler looking to throw has his man on the run it's jacoby myers and he goes down at the 48 past the 50. i feel like jacoby myers has had a billion catches today first and 10 from the 48 it's a handoff to jacobs finally a good run for him and it's going to be a first down up to 27 yards on the day and like half of them were right there first and 10 from the 34 and just try to dump this off it's completed was that jacoby myers again it was tight end attack as i mentioned unretired after two games of being retired on second and one it's michael mayer on tight end attack he's got it and he's short of the end zone but he's down to the two first and goal raiders again it's crazy how if you just abuse all of the plays that work every single time the offense actually looks pretty solid the game is telling me that that guy's open so i threw it to him and he caught it but he came out of the end zone i guess so no game that was the backup tight end warring and on this play i'm looking for Devonte adams probably and he makes the grab holds on and it's a touchdown again for the raiders and i think the second one on the day for Devonte adams and if i'm not mistaken and granted it's been a while so i may not remember this is Devonte adams first game back in quite some time jacksonville gives us the ball back near midfield it's 24 to 3 with basically the whole fourth quarter left to play this game is all but over another good carry for josh jacobs he really likes to get that yardage number up in garbage time from the 40 first and 10 handoff jacobs and he's got to pick up a four we're going read option on second down and it's going to be for jacobs and just gets nothing third down and six tyler to throw has michael mayer left side wide open room to run brought down at the 14 first and 10 raiders nobody lined up on Devonte adams first and 10 i'm throwing to him immediately and he's got another touchdown it's <laughs> this game is so terrible man how do you how do you just line nobody up on Devonte adams it makes no sense and it's a touchdown for the raiders extending the lead and we're going to get out of here with the 11th dub on this season. We take over from midfield again. The Jags actually did manage to score. I'm guessing they attempted an onside kick. It's going to be a handoff to Jacobs. He tried to cut it to the outside when he had a hole in the middle. Loss of a one. On second and 11 from the 47, it's play action. And we've got Mayer down the field, but it's out of reach. A bad throw from Tyler. Oh, that may have been a touchdown third and 11 with four minutes left to play it's play action again because i'm an idiot and i just love to throw the ball and it's the same play actually and this time it works for michael mayer first and 10 to the 22 for the raiders just padding the stats really tyler already over 400 yards on the day gonna look for mayer towards the end zone that should have been picked inaccurate from tyler again so make it second and 10 from the 22 Looking for Mayer over the top, got him. Over the linebacker, first and goal at the three for the Raiders. So on first and goal, it's a play fake and just dump it off to Jacobs. And somehow, oh my God, that is so stupid. Either way, whoever this is bumps Josh Jacobs off of his route. So I throw it to him, which look at the way Tyler threw this. Just like teleported it. It's like, ah, you can have it. And then immediately Poindexter turns around. Jacobs catches it and he makes a tackle. So he played the quarterback. He blocked the route and he played the receiver all at the same time. Just the best defender in the NFL. And what a throw from Tyler, by the way. So it's second and goal from the nine. We are going to look to throw 
And we have the freaking fullback in the back of the end zone, but he ran out of bounds. <laughs> Third and goal. I am tempted to try to hit 2-2 Atwell in the back of the end zone, but we'll see how it goes. That's, that's just not going to happen. I'm stepping up. I'm running. I'm not running. We're going nowhere. Loss of a yard. It counts as a sack, but it's fourth and goal. It just doesn't matter. And that is the game. We did add that field goal. It's 34-10 to 10 for the Raiders. We improved to 11-2 and two on the season. A pretty good day from Tyler. Off to a very slow start, but then got it going. Ended up throwing four touchdowns on 446 yards. Insane. As always, prepare yourselves for locker room talk. Go ahead and take a look at the stats for the game. Tyler Gibson, 126.4 rating, 444, and four touchdowns. Although it said 446 in the game. That's interesting. At least I think it did. Four touchdowns, two picks, three sacks, 72% completion percentage. Honestly, a really good day. I just had those two picks, one of which I think is kind of the game's fault for the bumping of receivers that happens every single time. And then the other one was definitely my fault. I just threw way too early for Jacoby Myers. Kirk Cousins was horrendous. 247 yards, no touchdowns, three picks, and sub 60% completion percentage. Rushing, Josh Jacobs only 3.2 a carry did end up getting to 41 yards which i guess isn't too bad and then the leading rusher that isn't named kirk cousins for jacksonville was tank bigsby averaging 1.4 a carry 10 yards rushing etn must have left early or something i'm not sure receiving Devonte adams nine for 176 and three touchdowns oh my god Jacoby Myers, 6 for 130. Michael Mayer, 6 for 108. And that was like the whole offense. I mean, Jacobs had 4 for 26, but not a ton of yards. But holy cow, I mean, talk about having favorite targets. These are these are my three guys right here. I would have had a touchdown pass to 2-2 Atwell, but he dropped it. So it would have been, you know, one for like four yards and a touchdown. But better than nothing, I guess, if you're 2-2 Atwell. Oh, an overall update. One step closer to the Madden Mountaintop. This is the first time we've had an activity be anything for quite some time so i'm excited let's take a look your climb up the ratings continues cap up to an 85 overall now or as some would say ocho cinco stay hungry you still have a long way to go before you get to the 99 club sick that was the whole thing just a quick text from chad johnson super fun i think with the two skill points we just earned i'm gonna get the medium throw accuracy up to a 90 as well so we're getting very accurate and now we have mid dead eye up to a silver so here's the abilities i have now i have pressure cooker bronze mid dead eye silver short dead eye silver and arm talent silver with the pro reads x factor ability if we take a look at the standings the titans did catch their second loss on the season the raiders up to a 10 game winning streak now advanced to the second seed with the titans of course losing their second game they have the tiebreaker loss to us so we take over the second seed now we just need the ravens to lose one more i don't know how likely that is they have won six straight now but really all we can do is just keep winning and we'll look to do that this week against the Bengals. i'll get through these activities and we'll get into game day if we take a look at the playoff picture really quick we are the two seed now set to face off against the steelers the ravens of course still the one seed and I'm hoping to snag that before the end of the season. But anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into game day. I've got plus three speed, plus three stamina, plus two throw under pressure. We are 11 and two, and the Chiefs have fallen to eight and five. So I believe we have clinched the division at this point. I can't remember who the Bengals starting quarterback is, but I know it's not Joe Burrow anymore, as I believe he is on the Titans. They do still have Jamar Chase, who has had a pretty good season. The Bengals quarterback is Dak Prescott. Tyler Gibson rocking the mismatching arm sleeves today. It appears to be pretty cold here in Cincinnati. First play will be a handoff on a draw to Jacobs goes nowhere. So on second and 10, we'll look to throw hit to to Atwell who had nobody on him right away. And he's got a first down up to the 44. I just saw on the bottom ticker, by the way, the Jags are one and 12. So no wonder they played so bad. First and 10 from the 44, looking to throw, and it's a missed throw in the direction of Jacoby Myers. So make it second and 10 from the 44. Look to throw again, hit Devontae Adams, makes the grab, he holds on through contact. It'll be third and short. On third and one, I'm gonna trust Josh Jacobs up the gut. I, ooh, he got it, oh my God, I got so nervous. I got so nervous. First and 10 from the 46, Tyler back to pass. I'll hit Michael Mayer, even though the coverage is good. 
Apparently that is out of reach, despite being perfect accuracy. So make it second and 10. I'm gonna go back to Josh Jacobs on the ground, even though I don't typically on second down. And it's a pickup of one. Three rushes for two yards to start, fantastic. Well, good thing we are a good team through the air, and I have plenty of targets to throw to. Third and nine from the 45, Tyler looking to throw has green in front of him is gonna step up to run slides down but has the first down at the 33 it was a like one of the first times i've ever seen it open up like that in the middle so from the 33 on first down we will look to throw again with tyler we have jacoby myers wide open it's a pickup of eight second and two second down tyler back to pass again has michael mayer wide open can he punch it in he can touchdown raiders and a touchdown again for Michael Mayer. He was injured to start the season. I do recall that, but has been on fire ever since returning. Cincinnati unable to score. So it's 7-0 for the Raiders as we take over from our own 20. And Tyler back to pass. is going to hit Jacoby Myers again. And he's going to be just short of the first down. Second and one from the 29. It's play action. And I would love to dump it off to Josh Jacobs. That's who I was looking at the whole time. But he was stuck on several linemen forever. We did eventually get the first down, dumping it off to Jacobs. I maybe should have looked downfield for somebody else, but I just had my eyes focused on it because I saw how open it was going to be. No open rushing lane, though. Second and nine from the 34. Going to look to throw. Jacobs is open, but Tyler missed the throw. Just overthrew him. Third down, third down and nine from the 34. Back to throw. Gonna have Jacoby Myers in a tight window, but got it completed first and 10. So from the 48 on first down, we're going play action. I don't know why we go play action when we never run the ball. I, I tried so hard to cut that back up the field. I, I knew I should have threw it away. I was thinking that like the whole time, but like I was like, how magical would this play be if I just cut this up the field? Freaking Miles Murphy though chases me down well that is a massive loss it's second and 25 so from the 37 back to pass is tyler gibson has josh jacobs with a step swatted away third and 25 i shouldn't have tried to go deep on second and 25 well i go to this play a lot in situations like this and it works most of the time but typically not on like you know third and forever and jacoby myers is just stuck on everyone fourth and 25. eight minutes left to play here in the second quarter on first and ten from our own 22. it is still 7-0 as the Bengals still could not score maybe missing joe burrow who's now a titan dak prescott is insane in madden though even though i think he's pretty mid in real life obviously i'd much much rather have joe burrow and did Devontae stop running his route? It's going to be third and three. I don't know what happened there. From the 29, it's third and three. Got Devontae on the left in motion. Tyler will look to throw. And doesn't have a man. I mean, I could have I dumped that off to Jacoby Myers, but the run gets probably the same amount of yardage down to the 40. So on first and 10, I'm just going to throw a jump ball to Devontae Adams because I... Uh, I always assume he's going to beat his man. I didn't even look. <laughs> I just threw it up and Moore picks it off. I wish we could take a look at the replay because Moore slipped. So I'm like, oh, okay, sick. Like, Devontae just is going to have it. Almost no air under that. The Bengals do pin us inside our own one. And I'm going to be honest, I just do not trust Josh Jacobs to get the first down or not get the first down but stay out of the end zone so we're gonna run it ourselves and we've got the first down the amount of times i hand it off to josh jacobs who by the way is a 99 overall and we still lose yardage is absurd first and 10 from the 15 and off jacobs gets five four and a half minutes left to play we're going to play action here dump it off to jacobs can he make one man miss he can Short of the first, though, I think he is. Third and one. So on third and one from the 25, I'm going back to Jacobs. Of course, man. Of course. How hard is it to just run through the gap? How hard? Fourth and inches. I'm sure that the CPU will make me punt it away. Awesome. Like, he just hesitates. He had a massive gap to the left. Insane. Well, it's 7-7 seven, seven with a minute and a half left in the first half. First and 10 from the 20. Going to look to throw here. I had Jacobs, but the, there was a blitz. It was more in the backfield, second and 10. This wheel route is very money, very frequently. 
on second and ten. It's going to be money here. Jacobs kind of gets bumped. Has it knocked out? Why does he jump for it? Let it come down to you. That's how gravity works. So make it third and ten from the 20. Michael Mayer's open. Get the first, buddy, please. He got it. Let's go, Michael Mayer. I love you. First and ten from the 31. Tyler back to pass. Has Devontae Adams. He makes the grab. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Under a minute left to play. Back to throw again is Tyler. Has Michael Mayer again. Has another first down. I'm going to call a timeout here. Josh Jacobs back in the game after missing a few snaps due to being gassed, I guess. And this is going to be a sack. I'll hurry it up. I'm not going to use the timeout. 20 seconds left. I just don't want to give them time. Snap the ball. Oh, my God. You can just spam it forever and nothing happens. I, the wheel route's got to work eventually. Swat it away. Well, it's third and 19. I don't think we're getting all of it back unless the wheel route finally works. I'm going to try to hit... Devontae Adams, he does hold on, and we will call the timeout with five seconds left to set up the Daniel Carlson field goal attempt to hopefully go up 10 to 7. It's 10 to 10 for our first possession here in the second half. We did get the field goal, but then the Bengals got a field goal on their first drive here in the third quarter. As Jacobs finally has a good carry, it's enough for a first down. First and 10 from the 35. Back to pass. The game expects me to, I guess, not know that Michael Mayer is X, even though the tight end is, like, always X. First and 10. Looking to get that completion percentage up in the second half. It's, like, just over 50% right now. And we've got Jacoby wide open. And he's to the 24. First and 10 Raiders. Moving down the field with quite a bit of ease at the moment. First and 10. We are looking to throw. Going to try to hit Michael Mayer. He holds on and he breaks the tackle. And he punches it in. Oh my god, I love Michael Mayer so much. His second touchdown on the day. Broke a huge tackle, fought for even more yards. Hits the pylon. And it's six on the board for the Raiders. And oh my god, the alley-oop celebration went kind of hard. I can't lie. Well, I want to say we didn't have an incompletion on that drive. So first and ten from the 20. It's 17 to 10 still. And Jacobs does break a tackle and ends up getting two yards where there were no yards. Second and eight from the 22. I'm just going to dump this off to Devontae. He does hold on. It'll be third and four. From the 26, Tyler looking for the conversion. Has Jacoby Myers, makes the grab, but goes out of bounds at the 41. A fresh set of downs for the Raiders. First and 10 from the 41. Tyler dumping it off to Jacobs for the screen play. He's got good blocking. He's got a lot of green down the field. And he's to the 29 deep in Bengal territory. So make it first and 10 from the 29. Third quarter coming to a close here pretty soon. But enough time for Michael Mayer to get another grab. And he's inside the five down at the three first and goal Raiders. On first and goal. Gonna hit Michael Mayer. He's got another touchdown. It's just that easy. Nobody was lined up on Michael Mayer. And it's just another touchdown for Tyler Gibson. Another touchdown for Michael Mayer. His third on the day, I believe. And another six on the board for Las Vegas. So it's the fourth quarter with seven minutes left. It's 24 to 13 for the Raiders. And we'll go to Jacobs. And he's got a good carry. Can't beat the final defender. He may be breaks away completely if he does on second and two after the jacobs carry we're going to jacobs again and he's got a first down does break an important tackle this time and is down around midfield another first down the rushing game starting to work late which i guess is as good a time as any when you're up by a couple scores and jacobs will have two yards here on second down and eight from the 49 it's going to be a keeper for Tyler Gibson. He's got a lot of green, excellent blocks from Devontae Adams, and he goes down at the 29. Four rushes, 58 yards on the day for Tyler Gibson. So on first and 10 from the 29, Tyler will look to throw, and that one nearly intercepted. It gets second and 10. Tyler back to pass again. Has Mayer up the seam. And he's got a first and goal down at the three. I think like half of the yards today are Michael Mayer. First and goal from the three. Four minutes left to play. It's play action. We've got a man open and it's dropped. I think that's Trayvon Wesco, the backup tight end. On second and goal from the three. We are looking to throw and Josh Jacobs is wide open. Touchdown Raiders. And it's just easy. It is just easy to be the Raiders QB. They do have a ton of weapons. I gotta give them that. Like Jacoby Myers, Michael Mayer, 
Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs as my guys to throw to, like that is nasty. And this game, pretty much over at this point. Game, set, match, Raiders win 31 to 13 over the Bengals. And we are now 12 and two on the season with three games left to play. A great day for Tyler Gibson, 325 passing yards. And I wanna say like 70 rushing yards. I might've said it on that screen and I just didn't see it. As always, prepare yourselves for locker room talk. Let's take a look at the stats that Tyler had on the day, shall we? 122.7 rating, 325 yards, four touchdowns, one pick, two sacks, 22 of 34, only 64% completion percentage. Dak was actually not too bad. 284 yards, a touchdown, a pick, and 66% completion percentage. Was sacked seven times. Rushing, Tyler led the whole game in rushing yards with 73. Jacobs had 67, which is a pretty good day for him. Cam Akers is apparently on the Bengals. He had 43 and Dak had 37. Receiving Michael Mayer, 8 for 142 yards and 3 touchdowns. That is insane. T. Higgins, 6 for 103. They have Curtis Samuel, 7 for 82. Kobe, 5 for 77. Devontae, 4 for 46. Josh Jacobs, 4 for 42. Tutu Atwell had a catch and that is everyone for the Raiders. The Ravens have lost. They are 12 and two. We are 12 and two. I don't know what the tiebreaker comes down to now. We have not played each other. I believe the next tiebreaker is divisional wins. They have one more divisional game. We have two more divisional games. And then after that, it's like opponents. So I think if we were to win out, there's a chance we get the one seed. It's obviously gonna depend on what the Ravens do. And I guess we just kind of wait and see. Also, if you're curious about Tyler's stats on the season with three games left to play, he has 4,688 yards passing. 43 touchdowns to 14 interceptions, 69% completion percentage, averaging 334.9 a game on a 124.7 rating. Rushing, he has 506 yards and 12 touchdowns for a combined touchdown total of 55 as it stands currently. Receiving, Jacoby Myers has 1,100 yards, Devontae Adams has 1,000 yards, Michael Mayer is going to hit 1,000 yards in the next three games, I'm sure. Tutu Atwell may finish close to 700 depending on how he does jacobs probably will finish around five 13 touchdowns for adams and 14 for mayer on the season that is nasty defensively max crosby has 22 sacks and there's three games left i mean he's just he's turned into like the best player in the nfl if you're curious about passing stats tyler gibson leads in yards by almost a thousand that is absurd 4688 for tyler 3742 for patty mahomes and he leads in touchdown passes by a lot as well but anyway that is going to do it for today's episode in the next episode we'll play the final three games of the regular season there's three games left normally i do two games per episode but the next episode will be three we'll play the chargers the giants and i believe it's the chiefs to finish the season so if we win out there's a good chance we earn the one seed in the afc but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate your patience with this series sorry i haven't been posting it quite as much if you find yourself coming back on the regular and you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button for me. It does help me out a lot. And we're trying to hit a thousand now by the end of the year. We just hit 600. So thank you guys for that. But I will see you guys in the next episode where we will play the final three games of the regular season.